Hey there, people, and welcome back to Who Wants to See Some Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. I know I do. So, when we left off, I'm looking for some... No, I don't... No, stop it. No. I'm looking for something that I can use to pull this melted metal. The brazier is still burnt. Yeah, heat here is extreme. Wah, wah, wah. I will need... Yeah, well... All right, let's go find something. Sure, we can find something. Probably. I'm in shock. Yeah, well, I'm fed up with your shock. You get what I mean? You know what I mean? I know what I mean. All right, first person. Do I see anything sitting anywhere? How about when I use Sherlock Vision? Diddly squat. Awesome. Okay. Well, that helped nobody. You know what else will help nobody? Okay, steam switch. Sherlock Vision? Nothing. Not Sherlock Vision. G. Newell and Sons, Steam Specialists, Seattle, W.A. Quite. Can't use imagination mode. Alright. What does that do for me? With the steam on, I'm unable to see even a few feet away. Hey, buddy. Hey, friend. Sherlock Vision! The only thing I can see is the handle. Glorious. Can I leave the room? Is that a thing I can do? Policeman? Nope. I have to turn the steam back off. Gotcha. Examine this. Let me. Let me just examine. May I. Not you, Sherlock Vision. What do I know? I can just use it still. So, what does that tell me? I should be able... Like, I wish it would just go green. But I guess that means I need to learn more about it. Alright, so... That's all I know about that. Love... Oh, oh. The grid cannot be removed. The weapon is nowhere to be found. Indeed. Quite. Mr. Holmes, policeman. Grid. Didn't even realize I could look at the grids, but yeah, okay. So there's nothing. Like I need, I need a set of tongs or. Okay, so that's now totally looked at. All right, Sherlock Vision. We still got squat. All right, so let him go. I guess. Do I need? Is there something in here I missed? Like, is there tongs for that brazier or whatever it is? Clothes. Clothes. Vase. Vases. Okay, well. Do I know anything else that I can talk to people about? A key found underneath Sir Rodney's body. But I want to know what the key is for. Alright. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now that I've examined everything. Because I didn't look at the friggin' steam vents earlier. My bad, I guess. Mr. I'm... Holmes, I should like to take the suspects to the yard. You can interrogate them there. Any objections? The yard. Yeah, screw it. No objection. Wait, wait. Uh, please wait. I need to do something first. And why, why do I get a wait option for that? I need to do something first. Well, does that include... It's... I found him. All right. Yeah, you know what? Shoulder. Screw it. Take him away. Ossifer. Done with them. Them and their kind. These baths are becoming so... Oh, come on. You already loaded this one. Let's do it. Do it for me. Mr. Some... Holmes, I should like to take the suspects to the yard. You can interrogate them there. Any objections? No, of course not. Take them to the yard. None, Lestrade. Salmon belongings. Search the crime scene, blah, 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 find the missing weapon. Yeah, still working on that. 
Suspects are at Scotland Yard and are ready for interrogation. The belongings of the victim and the witnesses are ready to be examined at Scotland Yard. So hopefully, you know, I find a set of tongs or something. All these events are bad for the baths. And my job. Wah, 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 wah. Okay. So what do I need? Mr. Holmes. Policeman. I'm never going to stop that, by the way. Every opportunity I have to do that, I am going to do that. And I hope someone likes it. Because I know I do. Oh, Sherlock, you're reading the book again, huh? Same book every time, huh? Must be a good book, huh? Getting fed up with me, huh? Well, I'm getting fed up with this loading, too. Huh? A. Oi. There we go. Load the yard, please. I wish to go through people's things in the yard. Hey, what's up, people? Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Holmes? Policeman. Alright, alright. What's all this, then? What's going on? Bentcliff. How guilty are you, Bentcliff? Bentcliff, Bentcliff, something else. Ring. This ring was most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed it before entering the steam room. What do I know about it? It was welded at some point by the looks of it. I see the join. This ring was repaired, and quite badly, too, with silver. Hey, that's kind of rude, sir. All right. An Egyptian symbol. It is a very old jewel. Why on earth would they wear such a ring? A very pertinent question. Pertinent indeed, apparently. Well, at least I know when I'm done looking at something. Wait a minute. Oh, coin. Well, I ain't no queen. Well, that ain't his queen. No one's God saving it either. An old and rather dirty coin. Hey, hey. Don't, uh, don't judge other, pe other people's money, man. A hand-drawn map. Oh, so we're just gonna take everything then. No tabuka. Oh, Rodney Bentcliff. Okay, so... Rodney Bentcliff's notebook. It may contain something of interest. Might it? So am I just stealing that too? I'm probably just stealing that too. Oh. Sorry. I can apparently look at it. Good to know. Um, torn pages. The last pages were torn out. Blasphemy. We must find a way of retrieving Sir Rodney's last lines. Watson, please prevent anyone from entering the room. But first, fetch me a pencil. To begin with, a few strokes of the pencil will be enough. I don't want to damage the traces. Okay, uh... Use. 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 Ah, I see what you're doing. I see. I know. Alright, so it's just the top of the page here. And then to gently smudge the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. I'm sure that Watson won't mind if I use his. <laughs> of course not. He's around just not to mind. <laughs> today almost... Today I almost found it. Uh, this date will go down in history. I hope Watson has to use that before this is all over. Mr. Holmes, the coroner... But what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence? I prefer to make them talk. Today, I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the body now. I am sure that you must, Constable. Well... <laughs> so that's it. So, well, I guess so. I mean, look at your hat. You clearly outrank me. In, you know, being really classy. Sir Rodney Bentcliffe, age 63. The right eyeball has been burst. Appierced by the hilt 
pierced to the hilt by a curved bladed knife. By a curved bladed knife. My apologies. I can't read. Uh, the blade cut through the orbit of the frontal bone, ripping a part of the frontal lobe and the corpus callosum, after which completing its trajectory in the cerebellum caused hemorrhagic lesions. All of these injuries led directly to the death of the individual. At the upper lobe of the right lung, there is an old injury filled with an amount of mucus that ciliated debris and ciliated debris, my apologies, that may correspond to a chronic infection by elements likely inhaled in a burial chamber. A decaying mummy, for example, or a dried and decomposing food product intended to give a, intended to accompany the deceased in their grave. The remainder of the body does not appear to have been damaged. Indeed. Quite. Assuredly. Well, let me tamper with the rest of this here evidence. An ordinary pencil. Or is it? Uh, Sir Gregory Pitkin's letter. Sir Gregory Pitkin, manager to Mr. Blinkhorn. Dear sir, the interests that I represent require the situation at the baths to be changed for the better. At the present time, the Frigidarium excavations remain under your discretion, and the other works have not progressed. You have failed to find anything of value, and are unable to make the Frigidarium accessible to the public. The Frigidarium is a valuable asset in the recreation of the Roman bath experience. I urge you to complete your work within the next two months and have this remaining time to con you have this remaining time to conclude your archaeological research and to find yourself another workplace. You suck. This is about the gist of it, right? Alright, so... Garrow's belongings. Hey, Blood Towel, Murdermost Towel. Sup. Wilson the Towel. Drug file. A file with herbs. Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? It's the St. John's Wart Flower Homes. It's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. However, an overdosage might lead to a rash, or even hallucinations. Hmm. You know, sometimes I feel like I have a little bit of melancholia. When Garrow found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. Well, that's it then. We don't read too much into the blood towel. Got it. Pitkin, huh? Pitkin, eh? Visiting card. Sir Gregory Pitkin's visiting card. Well, that's all we need to know about that. A fountain pen with solid gold trim. Indeed. An embroidered silk handkerchief. Purdy. Oh. Examine belongings. Completed. Alright, what's, what's my next task, game? What do you want me to do? What do I do? What I do? Oh, I got lots of stuff to talk about, actually. Okay. Uh, search the crime. Yeah, I still need to finish that with that melted metal thing. And probably something with the, uh, whatchamacallit, the cave-in and the frigidarium. Find the missing weapon. Yeah, that's the melted thing. Uh, suspects to so go interrogate them. Oh, and the body's ready to look at. Well, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna go look at the dead body. Could be fun. Not be fun. But it could be fun. Locked. Bastards. Alright. Let me look at this. What is it? What's going on? Oh, wait a minute. Oh. An unusual wound. Inflicted by a curved knife, which resulted in instant death, as the coroner's report says. Okay, then. Thanks, Watson. Thanks for the play-by-play. -play. Chest scar, eh? According to the coroner, there were no cardiac problems nor lung congestion, but there were traces of fungus, possibly contracted from the Egyptian tombs. Nipples, eh? That's pretty flippity-flop for a dead body. I'm pretty sure rigor mortis was the thing that existed back in old-timey days. The bruising is in lines. Some light bruising caused by a rope. They were caused by a rope around the waist. Sir Rodney was descending somewhere. Into madness, I assume. Oh. The coroner observed no stomach nor liver disease, if we're to accept that Sir Rodney was an occasional drinker 
and 63 years of age. All right, then. Well, we've learned all we can learn. This isn't the door out of the room, is it? Don't judge me, Watson. My brain doesn't work like yours does. Locked. Bastards. Okay. Sup? Good day to you, Mr. Holmes. Good day to you, policeman. Alright, alright. Uh, you look really antsy to get out of the room, Mr. Blinkhorn. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. So there you will stay. Because I got other people to creep up right now. It's not all about you. Not A yet, good day anyway. to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Ah, uh, uh, I am Tristram Garrow. Well, and by, once again, what I mean by asking a few questions is I got creepy up real quick. Let's see, uh... Badly shaven. Hey, you, do you live alone as well? Oh, you got bags under your eyes. Eye bags. That's the, that's the technical term for it. Um... Alright. That thing. Superstitious. Okay. Oh, oh. I see a, I see something. I don't know what it is, but I see it. Dirty clothes. Okay. What else do I know? Anything anything with the hand or no? Okay. What did I miss? Must be something on the way down. Or why do we go all the way up here? No, no, no. Keep going up here. So that's it. Now we're on our way back down. What did I miss? Um... I don't know what I missed. What did I miss? What's, uh... What else about you matters right now? Eye bags. Lips. S oh. Perspiration. Hey, you sweaty? What's your job, man? What is your occupation? I, I am a counselor at the uh, district chamber. And what were you doing at the baths? Well, I I follow the researchers. I am uh, I interested in, in archaeology. You follow them? Yes. So many things happened, and w we need to know. Or perhaps it's better hidden. I beg your pardon, Mr. Garrow. I, uh, I, I meant nothing, but by that I, I apologize. Really then, what about Sir Rodney? Huh? What about Sir Rodney? What was it like to work with Sir Rodney? It was like uh, working w with a genius. He was a hard man, but then, you, you know, this world is hard. There are always people who want to steal from you. And he, uh... He trusted me, but, uh... Oh. Are you feeling unwell? Oh, I'm sorry. He is I. Oh, I remember. Oh, I, I feel so sorry. Do you need anything? I, uh... I, I, I feel bad. I, um... I, I hear... No, nothing. I, 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 I'm better now. You sure about that? You sure about that? It was, it was, uh, okay, this is the murder. If you're feeling okay, let's talk about the murder a little bit. Please try to recall what you saw today. The room was so, so hot, I, I had to remove my glasses. I was not feeling so very well in, in there. But you found the body. I saw the knife, you know, flying through the air. I, I, I saw the blood. I tried to escape. I, I don't remember. Saw the knife? What did it look like? Everything was as if I in a nightmare. It all happened so fast. The knife was... Shining like like gold. Like gold, eh? Recent unusual event? Like a murder? Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Well, he, he had been rather secretive these past few days. Last Thursday, for, for example, I, I saw him leave. When he returned, it, it was very late. He showed me some wet coins, Roman coins, and uh, he, he started to laugh. Having a laugh, then? Hmm. You having a laugh? What about the ring? The one ring? 
One ring to rule them all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm sure you've read The Lord of the Rings, right? I mean, we're in Britain, it's an old book. Everyone reads old books, right? Or was it even written yet? Was it even written at this time in Great Old Britain? I don't know. His ring! Oh, it should be destroyed. Why do you say that? Maybe he has read it. It is a cursed ring, digging dark secrets. Really? I, uh, it is after me now. I know it. Uh, I shouldn't have worked on it in the workshop. It's too late now. What about this old coin, eh? Roman. This is the coin that, that he showed me. It is from the third century. It must be very rare. No, I, 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 I don't know. All right. What about your drug, huh? What about your fancy drug for things? Thank you. Thank you. This will help me to calm down. Do be careful with the dosage. I, I will. I mean it. All right, so, all right, that's it about that. How about the champagne? Why didn't anyone drink it? Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? What? No. No. Garrow appears to be rather mentally disturbed. Either that, or he is a good actor. Oh yeah, I guess I can start putting some stuff together. I must have some brain clues by now. Strange wound, broken glasses, very liquid blood, and Garrow's drug, maybe? Nope, not an anticoagulant. Champagne, no. No, no. Oh. Alright then. Strange wound, steam moisture, or unexplained clue. Presence of water in the blood is an unexplained clue. Okay, sorry about that. Had another, uh... Had another hiccup. So, um... Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we were gonna leave that as it was, and we were gonna look at more... Uh, I did it again. Okay, okay. That's it. Show must go on, and all that good stuff. Give me a second here. Just, just one second. Half a second? Some of a second. Alright, okay. So... Stolen notes... Strange wound. Oh, we still have strange wound, huh? Alright. Strange wound, broken glasses. Nothing. Alright. Broken glasses, stolen notes, champagne, Garrow's drug. None of the above, huh? Alright. How about... Stolen notes, strange wound, champagne, Garrow's drug? Nope. Alright. Champagne, Garrow's drug, strange wound? Nope. Uh... Strange wound, Garrow's drug. No. Alright, so none of this goes with any of this. Nothing relates to anything yet. That's is okay, good to know. Alright. How about you, Mr. Pitkin? Because Mr. Blinkhorn, once again, looks very eager to get out, so we'll let him stew for a little bit. Who's the old guy? Who's the old man Please we have? Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Or else. Or else, you know, I'll. Good day to you, Sir Gregory. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder that took place this morning. Would you mind answering a few questions? Tell me, Mr. Holmes, will I need to stay here for very much longer? Oh, yes. Forever, actually. And by questions, hold on. Gotta do the standard creep you up. Alright, nothing about your face seems mysterious. Yet. Oh, never mind, I lied. Mm. Your uh, disdain is disdainful. Okay, your fancy clothes. Pocket watch. Oh, sorry. Gold chain, cashmere, man of wealth. Signet ring. Aristocratic roots. Well, how you doing, Mr. Fancy Pants? Oh. You arrogant prick. No, no, I already... No. Stop, I already I already creeped him up. I want to ask, what, what do you do? You are the manager of the baths, is that correct? Yes. I'm passionate about archaeology. I wanted to restore the ruins. My ambition is to open the baths to the public. 
Living archaeology can be a profitable business, although now I'm not so sure. I see. When do you wish to begin using the baths? When the archaeological researches are over, I will be free to complete the restoration. It is the usual process. All right, what about Sir Rodney? What was your relationship with Sir Rodney Bentcliffe? We were not particularly close. He had an unpleasant temperament. Suspicious, authoritarian, unkind. People possessed by genius may be forgiven for their nature, but not by me. Was he obstructive? Not at all. Everything he did led us to greater success. He helped us increase the potential of the building. All right, well, what about the murder, Most Towel? I'm not dropping that, by the way. Never. Please tell me what happened this morning. The test that we performed this morning was a success. The steam was working well. But then, of course, that awful murder. What did you see? The steam was too thick to see anything. But ask Garrow. He saw the body first. Did he now? So, how about uh, any recent unusual events? You know, this might have happened. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behavior? Look, I'm not a suspicious fellow, but I think that he had professional interests elsewhere that he did not wish us to know about. Why should you think that? Where? I have no idea. But after all, it was not my business. Huh, well, well then, jeez. Okay, what, what about your work? What do you do? What do you do when you do? How was the work progressing before Sir Rodney's arrival? Rather slowly, I would say. Oh, yeah? Well, what about, uh... Um... Huh. What about the letter? Huh? Sir Gregory, could you please explain this letter? You expressed the wish to call off the research work at the baths. It was all about Blinkhorn. He was merrily digging away and taking very little care about it, ruining everything and finding nothing of any value. But the arrival of Sir Rodney changed your mind? Sir Rodney's work was extremely promising, and it was good for the Bard's publicity. So yes, I changed my mind. How dare you! What about the drug, man? Where's the drugs? Are you aware that Mr. Garrow is under a form of medication? Garrow? No. But I never liked that parasite. Do you believe him to be capable of murder? Well, he did have blood on him. Does that make him a murderer? Um, I guess. Wait a minute, I asked the questions around here. What about the champagne? Was it yours? Why did nobody drink it? I mean, I'm not horrendously fond of champagne myself, but I'll drink it if it's there. I guess, you know, it's, I have a problem, okay? Did you bring a bottle of champagne to the baths? Absolutely not. So Rodney did, I think. Oh, okay then. So that's what we know now. So, Mr. Blinkhorn, you ready to come out? Well, I'm afraid... Oh, God, I can't see my face. I'm afraid we're going to do that with you in the next episode. So, uh, we're going to cut this off here. We've had enough, uh, enough faults with audio today, so we're going to cut this off before something else happens. So, uh, Sable Song and Dance. If you liked it, like it. If you didn't like it, like it. A little bit. Come on, just do it, please. I'm begging you. I said please. I asked nicely. I mean, I'm not giving you a choice, but I asked nicely. And uh, comments, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll catch up with you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.